they have to make it as difficult as reasonably possible for unauthorized persons, point blank. It doesn't matter who it is. If they're, if they're unauthorized, they're not supposed to be there, they have to make it as difficult as reasonably possible. Yeah, yeah, they, they talk the talk about security, but that's all they did. Now the next question you have to ask members of the jury is whether they made it as difficult or as reasonably possible for unauthorized persons to remain unobserved and unchallenged. Mrs. Howard, Mr. Howard told you here on this stand that both of the security cameras they had placed that night were not functioning properly. I mean, not one camera captured, captured the fact that Mr. Parsons was being robbed in that parking lot that their own manager didn't want to go to. Not one camera. And to the jury, they knew they had problems in that parking lot. They, they, they had to know that these holes in the fence, these adult-sized holes in the fence, could serve as doorways to all the criminals, to all the, the hit men, from kids to killers. They had to know that, members of the jury. And, and it was dark out in that parking lot. Mrs. Parsons told you that. And just because a witness saw an apparent robbery doesn't mean that that robber was apparent to Mr. Parsons, especially when the two closest lights to him were out. There was no one to challenge unauthorized persons that night. They had one security guard on duty, and he was on the other side of the hotel. And, and you, heard, you heard them here on the stand. They talked about the facility. They had catering services, two restaurants, a sports bar. They've been in business for six years as of this incident. It is no surprise that people call in sick. Where is the backup plan? I mean, they didn't have a problem replacing the person at the front desk who takes the money. But when it came to protecting their actual guests' lives, I, I, that, that was just too much to ask. 